Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Lexi, and today we are continuing episode two of solo leveling, if I had one more chance. So last episode was the very first episode of solo leveling as an anime. I believe it, you guys let me know that it was a webtoon, like a, like a Korean webtoon or manhwa uh, back in the day, and now a Japanese company has taken over it and created an anime with it. So uh, I'm super excited about this show so far. The first episode definitely got me hooked. Um, I do have a lot of notes here because not only did we get to see this exciting story unfold with like a cliffhanger, we also got introduced to some really cool characters and also world building, which I love fantasy world building is my favorite. Magic systems are amazing. I just love this kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of go through it. I think this will be a good opportunity earlier in the series to make sure that I'm not getting anything wrong, that I'm not missing anything super important from the first episode that you guys can let me know about. So yeah, let's go through it super quick. Uh, let's go through the characters first. The very first opening scene, we got introduced to three S rank characters, uh, I guess, S rank hunters is what you call them. We got Yoon Hu or Yoon Ho, Byung Yu, which is actually an S rank healer, and then Yoon Suk. And I believe Yoon Hu and Yoon Suk are considered S rank hunters. We also got introduced to this uh, to this female character, Cha Heyin, halfway through the episode, who was wearing like this pink hat. She seems to be not part of a guild yet, uh, but she is considered S rank and she jumps really high. She does like crazy acrobatic moves and she seems pretty tall compared to a lot of the other characters. She said maybe like three lines and it's already, I think, my favorite character. <laughs> uh, and then we got Guildmaster Choi. So it seems like his guild is one of the most popular ones that I think a lot of hunters want to be recruited by or join. He seems very powerful, has a lot of money, and he wears glasses. So we saw him do that a couple times, or we saw him do that when he was fighting and he can firebend. <laughs> it seems like the element that he uses for his magic as a hunter is fire. So he seems pretty cool. And then we got the main character, I'm guessing is the main character, is Sung Jin Hu, uh, who is E rank. And they nickname him the weakest hunter of all mankind. We have Juhi or Juni. She is a B rank healer that is with Sung on in like the main storyline of this episode. And we have this Song Chiyul character who is the leader of the current group. I'm not sure if he's a main character, but they did say that he was pretty he was pretty skilled and he he's the leader of this group uh, with Sung and Juni or Juhi. Uh, and those are kind of like the main characters I think from the last episode, but please correct me if I missed anyone super important that I like need to remember moving forward. Uh, and then the world building, I just want to briefly touch on this, make sure I'm getting things right. So it seems like in this timeline, as it's taken place six years ago, a portal opened into the real world that now connects like human beings to this like magical realm that has these magical beasts and dungeons that they reside in. And the only way to like protect the real world and take care of this and and more and such um, are hunters that also have these magical capabilities to go and defeat these beasts. And once they do, they can collect the loot and the valuables for money. They can, I think they can trade it in for things, they can um, keep it for themselves. It seems like the government is a part of this as well. And with these valuables, there's like these essence stones that are ranked in power and the government wants to collect it for like this power source or super weapon, but they can also be forged into weapons for the hunters themselves. So um, I think that also depends on the rank. Like I think they mentioned like A and S rank, is great for weapons or something like that. And then the and Sons can, I guess, be used for something else. But tell me if I'm wrong about the ranking system. I don't know. <laughs> and also something that they just briefly threw in into the episode is assigning human beings in our world uh, ranks and occupations by using this big crystal ball that you put, place your hand on, I guess, and it diagnoses you basically for your rank and occupation. And then from there you can join a guild or you get recruited by one, I think. <laughs> um, and with that, there were a couple things that I definitely messed up on. So the first one is once you get assigned a rank and probably an occupation, you're stuck there. You can't move up in rank. It, it I guess my assumption and my theory um, now, since you guys corrected me on this, is that 
it's based on the magical power that resides in you, not necessarily uh, skills that you can refine. See, I was thinking maybe it is kind of an overall, overall thing, but um, to me, the ranking system seemed like, oh, if you're a great strategist and then you um, have really great athletic ability, really great fighting skills, really great this and that, then you're placed at a higher rank. Um, and then you can like, ref and then if you're at a lower rank, you can refine those skills and slowly move up. But I guess that's not the case. You're just stuck at the rank that you are no matter what, which bummer because I was flying off the roof with all my theories and stuff and <laughs> completely missed that in the first episode, whoops. So yeah, that's kind of like the world building of everything. Now let's go into the actual episode recap really fast. So again, we get introduced to these three S rank hunters, kind of, I guess, to show the abilities that uh, you can have as an S rank person. And then the complete contrast of that is Sung and his group, which are in like these, I think uh, D and E, uh, ranked dungeons and everything and and like how I guess just how it is in comparison to the to the opening scene and so we follow Sung and and his group with Junie the healer which I think they have like a romantic -y kind of side plot going on which is super cool but they end up uh going through the portal defeating the beasts in that E or D rank dungeon. They loot it and then they decide to keep going because they found another corridor hallway that led to like this giant door. They go inside thinking that it's a D and E rank dungeon as well. Uh, and they were wrong. They were wrong. It, it wasn't bred right. I don't know what happened there. Something got messed up and there was a mistake involved. And now they are trapped with like these giant, I guess like chess playing statues that instantly kill them like that um and so everyone's freaking out <laughs> which is to no surprise and so is sung sung is like freaking out near the end of the episode the biggest statue right here is the one that like looked at him or whatever so um super creepy i'm excited to jump into this next episode um i'm hoping that we jump right into the fight we can get right into it so that's my hope there see what happens with sung how are they gonna get out of this are they gonna get out of this yeah i'm ready to jump in but before we do make sure you give this video a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one if you want to watch this video full length unedited as well as early access to more of my solo leveling reactions before i can uh, edit them and upload them to youtube my patreon link is in the description below it's going to be in tiers gold and platinum uh so if you're interested in that down below in the description okay so uh without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it episode two if i had one more chance <laughs> So they have to stay still. Juhi. Juhi. Okay, not Juni, but Juhi. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did figure it out near the end. <gasps> His arm is gone. Oh. Uh. Oh, Juhi's just in shock. Yeah. Despite being a B rank healer. Weird. This is an S rank. Yeah. Revere God, praise God. Prove your faith to God. Oh. Supernatural phenomenon throughout the world. Yeah, never changes. Beyond your terror, something akin to absolute despair. <laughs> An intro, okay. This is probably the one that was in near the ending, but I feel like I can't watch it, so I'm not gonna watch it. This sounds like a K-pop song. I wanna know who's who's singing this. They sound really familiar. I'm gonna look it up. It was TXT. No way. No way. TXT is actually part of the, the opening song. That's what I thought it sounded like. Ugh. I love them. <laughs> Oh, that's a sister, right? Yep. 
いつも怪我してて大変そうだけどこの間も包帯だらけでさ<笑>で私だったらもっとうまくやれるのに Dang, okay. Probably if he's nicknamed the weakest hunter of all time. <laughs> of all mankind. <laughs> With a major guild. Oh,、uh, whoa. No. You're not fast enough, dude. Slice. Yep. All that's left is his feet? Uh, you gotta start praising him. <laughs> uh, the tablet tells you what to do. It has its own rules. Dang! Ooh! Ooh, his eyes! The determination. Okay. Yeah? Nice. What do I feel like this isn't right though? Oh, really? <gasps> That was like a Titan smile. The smiling Titan. Oh, you idiot. You're an idiot. No, no, it's not. The next commandment, please. <gasps> What is it doing? It's, it's getting up, it's getting up, it's getting up. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't look like it's working. It doesn't look like it's working. He's gonna step on him. He's gonna step on him. Nope. Oh, save him, save him. No! <gasps> that, that was a Judy. Okay. <gasps> oh. Park, no! Yeah, what? Exactly. Praise its, like, army or something? Yeah, praise its weapons? Instruments? What? With music? Praise it with music? With worship? Uh, okay. Maybe with. Oh, what is happening? Man. You're okay, you're okay. Oh no! <gasps> Oh, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go to the voice. He's gonna go to the singing voice. Let's go. Wait, is this foot okay? What happened to his feet? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on, sing. Huh? Huh? His feet are gone, aren't they? Yeah, can you heal him? <gasps> no, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. No, no. Not happening, not happening, not happening. <gasps> oh, nope. Oh. Can she, like, attach it? Can't she grab the severed limb and like attach it? It was Sung who made the final call, basically. One more commandment. What was the third one? I forgot. Revere praise and what? For offering treasure.、Uh, prove your faith to God. I think the leader is going to sacrifice himself, Song Chiu. Ain't that right, Song? Ooh! Wow. Okay, yeah, he's gonna sacrifice himself. 
You know what? Okay, before this happens, I feel like I'm gonna guess what happens again and like be totally wrong again. But I feel like Sung is gonna take his place at the last second. That's it. That's, that's my theory. <laughs> oh? They're really turning towards him. A dungeon break. We sail here. Oh no! <gasps> That's crazy, actually. What? Imagine those things roaming on Earth. <laughs> That's actually, oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't know if that's an essence stone, but something like it is used in for like medical treatment. I didn't see that in the last episode. Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, okay. Blue fire, must be hot. Uh, hello? Like, that old children's game. Keep your eyes on it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <gasps> Did she make it out? The sacrifice. How many people were there? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Three is to prove our, our faith. Our our faith. A false sense of hope, yeah. So you have to stand your ground and stay there as a sacrifice to prove your worthiness to this god. It has to be. Don't do it! Yeah. The blue flames are a timer, and when they're all gone. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. He's gonna make a run for it. Then listen to him. Just listen to him. If you do this, you're, you're gonna die. <gasps> right, the leader. Oh, she can't move. She's in shock. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I knew it. He's gonna. He's gonna be the one to sacrifice himself. Nope. <gasps> So that essence stone had nothing to do with anything. Oh. He can't even walk. Like this. <gasps> oh, he's screaming. Wow. Oh, he's screaming! Oh! Oh! Just stay awake. Just stay awake. Just a little bit longer. Was he awake? Did he stay awake? Just do I choose it? 
oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, is this interactive? Do I choose this? What is happening? What is happening? Huh? 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 Wait, now I'm really confused. I didn't I say in the last episode that this is like a video game? And no one said anything about that, but I said that. <laughs> Why is he in a cell? And like an elevator and stuff. What is this? Is he is he insane? Dude, I've never been more confused by that ending in my life. So it's like Black Mirror. <laughs> Um, this anime is nuts, you guys. I was not expecting that ending at all. <laughs> First of all, super gruesome, super brutal. Themes of religion thrown in there as well and sacrificial offerings. And lots of blood and guts and the main character also- It, it kind of reminds me of like the one episode, I think it was like episode five of Attack on Titan that Aaron Yeager, like, if you know, you know, I won't, I won't spoil anything. Um, and so Sung, now I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused with him because I had a feeling he was going to sacrifice himself near the end. I thought he was either going to die or like he was going to like win the game and walk out scot-free, maybe be like the only one left. That's what I was thinking, but it ended like a video game. And then we see him in front of a computer and he kind of looks like he's in an asylum or of some sort. I don't know. Is this just a video game? Or is this like a video game in real life <laughs> type of situation? I thought it was interactive at first. Like I was reading it and then it showed like the yes. And I was like, am I, am I supposed to click yes? Like what would happen if I click no? No, it's not interactive. That would have been cool though. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of in shock with the end of this episode and the last cliffhanger was crazy, but this cliffhanger was like extra confusing. And now I'm like super curious about if I'm wrong about everything and that entire recap uh, about the world building world building and stuff um, in the beginning of the video is now completely shot as well. Uh, so yeah, that's my thoughts of it. I also wanna know if everyone who made it out alive I mean, if everyone who left the dungeon made it out alive, or if they're all dead, uh, especially Juhi, the healer. I hope she's okay. I hope they're all okay, honestly. I truly don't know what is happening to Sung. What happened to Sung? Is he dead? Is he, it seemed like it said like, your heart will give out in 0 0.02 seconds, click yes or no or whatever to that one thing. What did it say exactly? Like, so the blue flame went out and then it says, the secret quest, courage of the weak. He has courage as a weak player, makes sense. You have acquired the qualifications to be a player, will you accept? So not a hunter, but a player? Is a player a hunter? Your heart will stop in 0 0.02 seconds. If you choose not to, if you choose not to accept, will you accept? Is this the God in the dungeon that this is the whole thing is about? Or is this the entire universe? Like I'm confused about that. And he accepts it. That's the only information we get. <sighs> a player. To be a player. In a video game, probably. That's what it seems like. But is a player a hunter? Mm, oh my gosh, I'm gonna- I'm just going around in circles. I really don't know what this is, <laughs> this is about. <laughs> uh, there's nothing I can really- I can't wrap my hand around it. Like, there's nothing- like, I don't know what to assume about this and, like, what's going to happen. Is he gonna be an S rank? Hunter now? Is that what it means by being a player? Like, is it because of his courage as a weak player? Is he now going to be like, now is he going to be super skilled and strong? Like, ugh, I don't know. But you guys told me that you can't go up in rank, so I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to end it here because I'm confused and I don't really know how to add to this. But if you like this reaction, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more videos like this one. Again, if you want to watch this video full length unedited, uh, as well as early access to more solo leveling reactions as they drop each week before I can edit them and upload them to YouTube. Uh, my Patreon link will be in the description below. It's going to be on tiers gold and platinum. So definitely check that out. Uh, and I will see you guys next week. Hopefully I won't be as confused. Maybe I can think of some theories or something to go off of <laughs> in the next video. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. All right. Bye.